Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an empties video. Um, if I look really stressed out or like sweaty, it is because one of my lights just completely toppled over while I was setting everything up. So if the lighting is different and I look different, that is why. Yeah, I just broke something that I just have used, you know, a couple times. I'm going to be doing an empties video for you guys. Hopefully the lighting is okay. I had to adjust things on my camera and whatnot, so I don't know how this is going to go. But I'm going to show you what I have finished up. So the first things that I'm going to show you are candles. They are both from Bath & Body Works. This one is Harvest Coffee. Um, I really liked it. It was really strong so I could only um, burn it for like an hour maybe at a time. So this was really nice. Coffee doesn't like me so it's nice to have something that smells like it even when I can't drink it. The next one is Champagne Toast, and this was amazing. It is a blend of champagne, juicy nectarine, and black currant, and this was so nice. This was like a New Year's Eve one from last year, so yeah, really, really liked this. Next items are skincare products. I have the St. Ives Apricot Scrub, which is really abrasive, but sometimes when I had dry patches, I really need that. So I liked it, but I won't repurchase it just because, I don't know, it's a little bit too much. So yeah, and then this one, this one's really nasty because it's been in the shower, but this is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. And I really liked this because it had little teeny tiny granules in it and it wasn't too much. It just kind of like exfoliated but not a crazy ton. I also finished up the Paracone MD Face Finishing Moisturizer. And this is just a little guy. Um, I completely used it up. See? No more. Um, I really, really liked this. It sunk in really nicely on the skin and I thought that it was really moisturizing and did its job. However, I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it just because I have so many moisturizers that I need to go through and also it is pretty pricey. Very quickly, I'm going to show you sort of body care that I have used up, um, kind of hair and body care. This, I have the Herbal Essences Honey I'm Strong Shampoo. I really enjoyed this, especially for having such long hair. Like, I don't think you guys know how long my hair is, but it's pretty dang long. I really did enjoy this. It smells really nice, and it was really cheap, so um, I would repurchase it, definitely. Then I also have an anti-breakage conditioner from Suave, which is their natural infusion line. This is with our... I have a pooey ginger and honeysuckle. So this was really nice. Um, I enjoyed it and it smells really good. This shower gel, um, you've seen in a haul. This is the London Tulips and Raspberry Tea. Really liked this one. I thought it was really nice. However, I don't feel like Bath & Body Works shower gels are that great for what you pay. Like if it's a semi-annual sale or something like that, I definitely would say go out and get it. But for, let's see, $12.50 original, no. This one, actually, my husband used up. This is the Twilight Shower Gel. Um, I actually bought this for me, but he absolutely loves the smell. So he used this all up, and I don't know if I have any more. I have, like, a little stash of Lush stuff. And this smells absolutely amazing. And it smells like marshmallows and lavender. So if you like that, definitely this is good stuff. And the last body product that I have is the Aveda Rosemary and Mint Body Lotion. This is just a little mini. Um, I really liked this until it started itching my skin like crazy. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's the rosemary in it or something, but I used it on my legs one day and it just so... it burned and it like gave me little red bumps <laughs> everywhere and I could not stop scratching like it was just <laughs> I had an allergic reaction or something so I'm glad that this is gone um but would not repurchase it because it made me itch a lot. Now on to makeup I have used up this Sephora Daily Brush Cleaner. This is just a little mini guy, and I really liked this. Um, I have a Japanese one that I'm using right now, and I really like that one because that gets it, that gets my brushes extremely clean, but it also kind of has an oily residue, so um, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out if I like it or not, 
but this was amazing. It didn't didn't leave any you know greasiness or anything like that. I felt comfortable with as soon as I cleaned it with the daily brush cleanser using it in you know powder products so I really liked this. This is the L'Oreal BB Cream. I really liked this because it really went on matte for a BB cream. Um, not very good coverage though. I could still see redness um, peeking through. So this is kind of like if I had zero time, I put this on. <laughs> but um, wouldn't repurchase it because I do like Asian BB creams a lot more. They have a lot more coverage and I feel like they're just as good as regular foundation. I finished Rimmel's Stay Matte um, in the color Transparent. Love this stuff. I just have a lot of loose powder, so I'm not going to be repurchasing this anytime soon. Also, for some reason, this just bothers me. <laughs> the packaging is just kind of, it's not travel friendly, I don't feel, and it's just kind of like, I don't know, I always feel like it's just going to come apart and like break everywhere, so um, won't we purchase this, but will probably in the future. A couple of mascaras that I have. I have the Avon Mega Effects, and if you haven't seen this, it has like a little paintbrush, if you can see that. This is what it looks like, and it's really cool, and I thought that it was going to be kind of difficult to handle, but it's actually really nice because when you take it out, you can kind of like get in everywhere. So um, yeah, really enjoyed that. It was really nice and kind of cool and, you know, was neat. Now this one, this is Miss Manga Mascara and I absolutely loved this stuff. It was so nice. You can see the brush has a very, has a very bendy wand and I really like the formula. I really like the brush. I think that it is absolutely perfect. Now, even though I love this mascara, the reason why I won't be repurchasing it is because I'm trying to steer away from uh, companies that are not cruelty free. And L'Oreal is one of the biggest ones that is not cruelty free. So um, even though I absolutely love this stuff, I won't be repurchasing it. And I also have a mascara that I really like that is cruelty free and is awesome. An eyeliner that I used up is an Avon Liquid Glide Glimmer Stick, and this was in the color Black Plum. Now, this has very little product, so although I am proud of myself for using it up, um, it has 0 0.005 ounces in it, so I got through it rather quickly. This does not come with a sharpener, and if you're wanting to get a liquid eye look, this is not going to give it to you. Um, but the really cool thing about this was, was that when you put it on, it felt liquid, so it was actually pretty cool. A lip product that I finished up is the EOS Lip Balm in Sweet Mint. As you can see, it is completely gone. You can totally, it's completely flat. You can definitely see, you know, the bottom of it. So I'm really happy that I used that up. And I have another one in my Finish 7 by Spring Tag that I am using. So these actually go by rather quickly. I do like EOS lip balms. However, I do have to use a lot of them in order to feel like my lips are being moisturized. And the last few bits are actually samples. So um, this is the Waleda Wild Rose um, body lotion sample. This was okay. It um, it definitely smelled like roses, but it wasn't like a good kind of rose. I don't know. For being a natural product, because Waleda is a natural brand, I don't feel like it had like the essence of a rose. It kind of felt like a plasticky rose. This is a sample of the YSL Touche Clot um highlighter like concealer pen this i really like this was in number one which was kind of that salmony color um that kind of cancels out the under eye circle area absolutely love this stuff it was so so nice i also had a um, sample of the number two which was just the actual concealer and i also really liked that one so i don't know if i feel spendy i will definitely repurchase or i didn't purchase it i just had a sample of it but i would purchase it definitely this next one is a perfume sample and i'm really proud of this one because i never go through my perfume samples i just kind of let them pile up and i don't use them um, but this is the Flora Botanica by Balenciaga, and I really like this. This was really strong, but it was really nice. 
So that is it. That is all the empties. Um, I really do enjoy a lot of these products, but I have so much stuff in excess that I need to get rid of. So just because I say that I won't repurchase it doesn't mean that it isn't a good product. I just don't personally feel like I would repurchase it right away just because I just have so much stuff. So that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I apologize for any lighting issues and I'm going to be going online and purchasing another light bulb. So. so yeah, that is it. I am going to go and I will talk to you later.